So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. And today, I am just going to show you a quick mathematics on how to make money in the Uber taxi business. And this mathematics that I will show you are a bit theoretical, but it is the same thing that happens when you get into the field. And I have seen many drivers, including myself, operate with this level of mathematics and it has really worked and any driver who is not agreeing to this come out please talk to me and i will show you where you are losing your opportunity to maximize on your profit yeah so i am going to take a case study of suzuki alto suzuki alto i know is a car that all of you know very well this car is 660 cc in terms of engine volume this car, it does 20 kilometers per liter. If you put one, kilo, one liter of fuel, of petrol, that car will move 20 kilometers. And you can very simply verify that from the car dashboard. If your car is not giving you this or more, ideally it should go up to 30 kilometers for long distance. But for town driving, it should give you at least 20 kilometers per liter. If it is not doing that, then you need to check your mechanics with your me mechanic. You have to check the, the spark plugs and other drivers of higher fuel consumption. So, the reality is, one liter of petrol, it costs 180 Kenya shillings. I know it is 177, but for the ease of mathematics, I have put 180. When you request Uber, all bold and the distance you are traveling is 16 kilometers normally that trip will be charged at around 800 or 750 kenya shillings so i don't know where you are located but for instance if you are traveling from nairobi cbd area to let's say gedurai 45 for example that distance will come at around 750 or you know, sometimes they have discounts, but everything will be within this range, 800 to like 600. So for the ease of any mathematics, I have taken 800 because sometimes there will be surges, there will be increase in price due to demand. So I will work, why did I pick 16 kilometers? Because I am working on my calculations based on one liter of petrol. How much income does one liter of petrol generate to a driver? I said that this car will move 20 kilometers with one liter. But I have decided to assume that one liter will give me 16 kilometers instead of 20 because of what we call Kuchoma. So Kuchoma means that you will spend some fuel going to pick a customer and for that reason you, you know you are not paid you will drop a customer maybe 500 meters further from where they indicated sometimes they will say i'm dropping here but when you arrive at the drop destination they will tell you i'm going there a kilometer away so for every one liter you will be kuchomai uh four kilometers so that's why i'm saying the effective kilometers from one liter is 16. so how much did the customer pay for your one kilometer for your one liter of petrol the customer paid 800 shillings from the 800 shillings you collected a shaman is a one liter you subtract the cost of fuel is 180 you subtract commission from that trip commission your bolt or uber which is 25 percent i have worked with 25 percent okay so from one kilo, from one liter, the driver will remain with 420 shillings. Okay, so this depending on, uh, you know, sometimes if the price of here could be less, let's say 750, whatever. So from one liter, you can get between 400, I will just put it between 250 to 400. Okay, from one liter of fuel, and this is net, net income. Of course, for the driver, 
but for the car owner, you, you will be in charge of maintenance and uh, service, so it doesn't count here. But this one is for the driver because he's the one managing the operation cost on day to day basis. Normally, a driver will fuel their car with 1000 shillings. So, 1000 shillings is normally like eight, 10, 10 liters. So, when you t put 10 liters of fuel per day, how much will it give you? Okay, I said 420. 420 because it was. 4,200 because it was a liter it was giving you 420 shillings. So if you do 10 liters and it is giving you 250, so it will give you, so a driver will take home between 2,500 to 4,000, to 4,000 per day if you do 10 liters. So this mathematics, I am telling you, this is how it works. But if there is a driver who is not able to make between a net of 2,500 to 4,000 per day after paying commission, then you have to check with your car. Maybe your car is the 1,300 cc, 1,300 cc, which really consumes quite a number of, you know, it consumes a lot of fuel because it will find its standard uh, expense for fuel is like 15 kilometers per liter. Then you do the same thing, if you lose 4 kilometers, then you'll be working with 11 here instead of 16, which is not good. That's why I advise people, if you are getting into this business, please consider having the smallest car possible. And then if you are not able to do this, please reach out to me. We will assess why, we will assess why, and we will look for your opportunities to make sure that you make this money. Minimum every day if you are a hardworking driver. Okay, and on a better day, I know this one can even be more. So for those people who ask, this is what the driver has asked, has collected. But if your car is hired or you have been given by a car owner, you need to give them between between one thousand, between one thousand to fifteen hundred per day. So even if you subtract that from here, if you give the car owner a thousand to one thousand five hundred, it means the minimum that car owner will take home is one k, which is not bad given that you have no other cost associated. Yeah, so, you know, 1,000, taking home 1,000 as your minimum is highly, is very acceptable, given that you don't carry any other responsibility on that car. You know, service, repairs, and uh, replacements are done by the car owner. So you, you go home with your 1,500, you are with your 1,000, and your car owner, in as much as they are taking 1,500, they will be the one in charge of replacing the tires, you know, servicing the car, which is also a very huge cost. So the, the profit sharing is already very good, and this, I am telling you, is on a normal day. Okay, sometimes it can be less, but when it is really good, this side works very well. So those are the realities. Let me know what you think. If you have had an experience, share with me, and I will put it here on record for people to know. Thank you very much.